wanna sleep in Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'm tired of my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action Welcome back. I'm Carrie and this is Keep It Simple DIY. I haven't done a cleaning video in so long and realistically what happens is if I'm not filming a cleaning video, I'm probably not really cleaning other than the bare minimum. So today I am going to try to do a little bit more than the bare minimum. At least do the bare minimum and get the main things done. So the things that I need to do today, I need to do the dishes that are in the sink. I need to clean all the stuff off my counter. I need to clean my counters, I need to organize the fridge, I need to clean the litter box. I would love to clean the mirror upstairs in my closet and the, what do you call that, like the makeup vanity. It always gets black on it from my um, eyeliner and mascara when they like kind of dry out and crumble down and black gets everywhere. My bathroom needs to be washed. I have a clogged sink that is only kind of clogged so I've just been dealing with it. I don't know how much I'm going to get to today. I definitely don't plan on getting to every single thing that I just listed, but if I can even get to some, that's better than none. So join me, let's do it. We are starting the day off in the kitchen doing dishes as usual, only on this day, I didn't have any dishes that needed to be taken out of the dishwasher and put away. These are the dishes post game night a few days later. We did get all of the game night dishes put away and cleaned on game night actually, which was surprisingly a huge success. And so, you know, we did so much cooking and so much cleaning that day that then everything else just, you know, got a little bit stacked up in the sink, which that's okay. That happens. I'm okay with it. Now you may be interested in the game night count of people who actually showed up. We were expecting somewhere between, I think, 10 and 14, and it was snowing that day. And it hasn't snowed very often out here, but when it does snow a lot of times, if it snows a lot at once, the roads get bad. And also, on one side of the city, roads can be pretty bad, and on one side it can look like nothing's happening. And so, towards the evening, on my side of town, it looked like nothing was happening. But on the other side of town, it definitely looked like there was a ton of snow. So we actually had only six people, including us here, but it ended up being perfect. The night was just great. Actually, you know, it was six for a while, and then another person showed up. So I guess we totaled out at seven, which is fantastic. Now, I always wonder if I've cooked enough food or not. And so I was really intrigued to see how much food there was left at the end. And so the big pot of red chili was about halfway full at the end of game night. The soup was completely gone. And then the white chili was about halfway gone. And then, of course, the dip was just a little, you know, halfway, almost all the way. It was just an appetizer. And so I am thinking if we had everybody show up, I might not have had enough food. Granted, I did have a lot of cornbread left. Like people didn't really eat very much cornbread. And I feel like if there were actually more people there that maybe people would have. So that way, like the mains wouldn't have gone so fast. But that helped me out to know for the future how much food I need to have if it's something like a chili. So I was really intrigued by that. And now I'm like, yeah, I'll probably be making way, way, way too much food in the future but I really enjoyed cooking I really enjoyed having people over it was just such a great night to spend time with friends my friends my husband Nick's friends and friends that I've known forever now here are the leftovers from that night there's also leftover fudge that's in the fridge that I'll get out in just a little bit but I'd also been eating off of these cornbreads for the previous three four days before I put them into these bags and so this is what was left after then so really not much of the cornbread was eaten the sweet cornbread was definitely the winner though everyone liked the sweet cornbread more than the regular one and the regular one I actually didn't mix it long enough and when I was re-watching the tapes I didn't even turn the mixer on very high so I definitely should have turn the mixer on to be a lot higher than it was. And then these cherry bars were a huge hit. Everybody loved them. And now they're in my freezer because there's some leftovers. And I am putting the freezer bags into the freezer 
and I'm going to see how they go. They're not freezer bags. They're just silicone bags. This is my second time buying silicone freezer bags. I keep calling them freezer bags. Second time buying them. I've never been able to really get them open from the freezer, but I'm giving them another shot. We'll see how it goes. So far, I haven't been a fan. I haven't found one that I like that's easy to open out of the freezer, but we'll see. And then here I'm cleaning out the fridge because we had game night. There are some things that need to go into the outside fridge. We also went out to eat one night. We had like a little impromptu date night, Nick and I. So that was really fun. And I just wanted to make sure that anything that needed to be taken out and, you know, cleaned or tossed was. Now, I try to not have any food waste ever if I can help it. This year has been really hard with that because I have been dealing with a lot of just medical questions that have been making me feel off my game. So I am a bit bummed that there was um, a little bit less than one serving of chili that I ended up having to throw out because it had just been too many days. Now, in a perfect world, I would have frozen that a few days earlier, but it's just, it's been a struggle bus. So for those of you who have been here along the journey, I've been having really weird symptoms, really dizzy at times, and I recently went to the doctor and they said it was migraines, and I was like, this just doesn't make sense because the reason I went to the doctor in the first place was an ear infection, so I realized that the nasal spray they had me using was causing the migraines, but now I've been off that nasal spray for about a month, and I'm thinking that that wasn't the only cause of my migraines, because now I'm having migraines occasionally, not nearly as often. I think I was living in a migraine for the last like six months prior to this one last month, and I've definitely realized that I do get migraines, and I got migraines before, but I didn't know what they were, and it never seemed as bad as what people said a migraine was, and so I never connected the dots on that. But I don't think that was all that was going on because this all started with ear problems because of ear infection. So I'm still kind of questioning that. I'm waiting to get into yet another doctor to see what exactly is going on. We'll see what they say. Um, but I'm trying to manage the migraines now that I know that I actually still have them. I went a good month without having a migraine after being off of the medication. Now granted, at that time I was also doing the migraine-friendly diet. And I only did that for about two weeks, and then I slowly started incorporating other foods to see if they were being triggers. And I think I found that potentially soy sauce and maybe tomatoes are a trigger. I'm not so sure on that yet. But while I wait to get back in with the doctor, I am just going to try to figure out what's causing the migraines. So it had been a full month that I hadn't had a migraine, and then the last week I've had two. I had one that was like a regular one, and then one that was a really mild one. But by mild, I mean I couldn't do anything for the whole day really because I was just in a strange headspace. So good news is at least I know what it is, at least part of it. There are some other things going on from when I was um, – yeah, I was going to say when I was younger. I wasn't that much younger. Um, about four years ago, I started having tingling hands and feet, and they tingle basically all the time. Um, I can still feel everything just fine with them, but so that could potentially be from the migraines. So it's possible that migraines are causing everything. It's also possible that something else is. So hopefully soon I will have a solution there, or at least I'll be able to manage it to make sure that I am not feeling terrible all the time. But there we go. I feel like I did the dishes twice on this day because I had to do the dishes from the fridge as well. And so it's a day to start the dishes and then clean up the cat area. Now, this was hilarious because as soon as I started moving all the cat things, the cats came in and they were very concerned about why I was moving all their stuff around. And so I'm working on just kind of getting it picked up. I didn't do a really good clean. I could have taken everything out of there and completely cleaned the floors. But I just wanted to, you know, get it cleaned enough. Something I've been struggling with the past six months or so is even doing like the bare minimum cleaning. And so I'm like, let's just get the house back to being like better than it is. And then I can work on like spring cleaning type of things and maybe fun house projects. I'm starting to have the brain power again to think about, well, what do I want to do next in my house? This last year, I redid my kitchen and drop station area, painted it white, changed out all the hardware to black added that board and batten that you see over to the right in the dining area, added some shiplap to our drop station. I did quite a bit, but I'm not done. I mean, I want to keep going. Over the next three, four years, I would like to paint the entire house on the inside because we've been here now about six and a half years. And, you know, every 10 years or so, you kind of need a fresh set of paint. 
And when we moved in, we had the builder grade flat paint and that just doesn't last very long. So I'm little by little going through the areas of the house that really need to be done. And so far, I've done all this kitchen drop station area. And then earlier last year in January, I did the master bathroom and then the master closet was done a little bit before. So I've got like the two hardest areas of the house done. Now I just need to figure out where I want to go next and I need to figure out what color to use. So I'm wanting to go, I think, a little bit more on the brown side than the gray. So if you see our wall right there, it is definitely a gray and it has a cooler tone. I want the tone to be a little warmer, but I don't want it to be like a beige or yellowy. I want it to just be like a little bit on the warmer side, a little bit more brown, but I want it to be a lot lighter than the walls are now. So not white like the kitchen wall, but definitely a lot lighter. So I need to find a color and then I need to figure out if I'm going to just do that color or if I'm going to do any accents. I'm thinking I don't want to do any more wood accents on this floor because I already have two different wood patterns. And I think that that would just be too much having multiple wood patterns. However, I am thinking that in the stairs to the basement, which you can see that doorway, it's a doorway without a door. I'm thinking I'm going to do a um, black shiplap at the top of the I don't know what you would call it, but the wall that you see right when you stand at the stairs and then possibly put like a brown piece of wood as a shelf right below it because that wall is not a flat wall. It's like a wall with a ledge and then it goes down. That area really needs to be redone because the corner piece had popped up and so I had to nail it back down and then re-texture it. And so I haven't painted since then because I don't have any more of the paint that's currently on the wall and I also refuse to buy it to touch up because I know I don't like that paint and I don't want it there. I mean, the color's great. I loved it. That's the color we chose when we moved in. There wasn't a whole lot of options. It was the only gray color. And the reason I chose to do a color instead of what the builder was offering for free was because if we would have went with their beige neutral, they would have painted the ceiling the same color. And I did not want a beige ceiling because I had been through that in my previous house. And it was such a pain when I wanted to paint the rooms a different color. So now I've moved on to cleaning out the litter boxes. On this day, you saw the orange cat going into the litter box. And then what you'll see here shortly is she comes out of the litter box and then goes across the rugs. I have two rugs out because it was snowing on game night. So I wanted one rug. There she is. I wanted one rug to be out for shoes and one rug for people to walk in on. And she dang peed on the rug. She only does that when she wants her litter boxes to be cleaned. But the irony here is I was literally cleaning them right then. So I don't understand, like, was she just not patient enough for me to do it? Um, and when she does it, it's because I actually really need to clean the litter boxes. I did mention earlier that, like, I've been a little struggle bus on getting things done. Now, that's the gray cat. He did not do this. He was just trying to help clean it up. And so luckily it's easy. I just picked the rug up, put it in the washing machine, and that was that. It was easy fix but here's something that I've been meaning to do for a long time and I haven't done it since the last time I did it for you guys or not for you but with you guys and let's clean this mirror and so the fact that I was even able to get to doing this is a huge win I'm very happy about it doing things like this that are like little and kind of just like not the everyday things that I clean make me feel like I'm starting to get myself back which is really cool over the last month I've definitely noticed that I have more motivation, I have my brain back, and having my brain back is awesome. Something that is a little bit behind the scenes is when I'm editing my videos, it's been really rough because sometimes I couldn't even say a whole sentence and make sense of it. It was like I had no idea what I was saying or thinking at any time, and I was just hoping that whatever I would say would make sense. And now, I mean, like when you normally talk just to a person, and you know here as well I can be thinking about what I'm saying and then saying it and then have it all still be like the same thought if that makes sense I don't know it was just I had like no control over my thoughts not that they were going wild but that they weren't even there at all but even this I have not cleaned this mirror or the sink since I started feeling bad early last year in May and so yeah it's been that long and it's okay we survived I'm just working on you know trying to get things back and something that has driven me crazy about this sink since we moved in I mean there's a lot of things that have driven me crazy um, it's huge by the way but the drawers are huge and smaller drawers would have definitely been better but the thing that I really wanted to mention was right here around that handle 
I have so much hard water deposit that I do not know how to get it off. Now, I kind of have let this counter go. And the reason is when we moved in a little while after we hired cleaners to come clean our house and they use the wrong cleaning solution on all of the counters in our house and the bathroom counters are marble and marble etches. So it basically takes the finish off of marble if you use the wrong counter, like something that's too acidic. And so they etched both of our bathroom counters and they look like crap up close from far away. You can't tell, but when you're looking at them, they absolutely look like crap. And so I really haven't cared about the counter since then um, because there's really no going back from it. I could pay to have them redone. I actually did get a quote to see how much it would be to have all the counters in our house redone. And it was like a thousand dollars plus um, years ago. That was like six years ago. And I was like, that just doesn't make sense. Like I could replace the whole counter and cabinets for that much. Not exactly like this, but if I chose you know, a different size, a different style. Now also on this day, I wanted to unclog this drain. This is the drain and the reason it gets clogged is because my hair falls out and it's been falling out at a crazy rate the last few months, but I started to pull out the hair out of the drain while I was filming this video and I was trying to twist the drain cap and it wasn't coming off so I knew that wasn't the way that this worked so I set it aside, decided to do it a little bit later. I also cut out all of me doing that because it was just gross. And then later on this evening, I did Google to see how to remove the cap and it was super simple. So I did it. It took like two minutes and I was able to just pull all the hair out. It didn't take long at all. Luckily, it didn't even smell. So if you've ever gone under the cabinet and had to like open up the drain pipes to get a clog out, that smells terrible. But luckily, this clog was just right up at the top where the stopper is. And so as soon as I pulled the stopper out, I was able to get the clog out and now the drain works fantastically and that was the first time I had to do that. So I mean we have been here six and a half years and so for six and a half years and then it clogs up with all my hair, that's pretty fantastic. So maybe I'll do it again in another six and a half years. <laughs> we'll see. So now I'm moving on to the other side of the sink, my husband's side of the sink and he's cleaned his side of the sink since then. I don't think he cleaned my side of the sink, but he has cleaned his side. He also has been going through it. And plus with me not doing like a whole ton over the last six months, he's definitely had to pick up the slack and uh, do a lot for us. So he does that. He's at work while I'm doing this on this day. I find that I work better when I'm alone in the house. Do you guys have that? Like if someone's in the house with me, I feel like I can't get anything done. I can't clean. I can't do whatever. I feel like if he's in the house relaxing, which rightfully so, because if he's getting ready for work or like he just got home from work, he wants to relax. And I like to do that when I go to work and come home from work too. But if I have some motivation, I want to get stuff done. I want to, but like I just can't when he's home. It's the weirdest thing. And so... I'm taking advantage of the time that he's not there to try to knock as much stuff out as I can. Then also, you know, if he's home and relaxing, like I want to be spending that time with him. We don't see each other all that often. Well, we do now. We didn't used to. We used to be on complete opposite schedules and I would only see him maybe one or two days a week, even though we lived in the same house. Now we see each other almost every day, but it's not always time that we can spend doing things together. Um, our main thing that we do together is watch shows and you guys, the shows are back as I'm filming this or not filming, but recording. It's currently Valentine's day and the shows are back. And so he'll be home at some point this evening and we'll be able to hopefully watch some more shows, but all of the TV shows are coming back, which is what we like to do together. And so I'm very excited for that. We've been watching a lot of YouTube recently. I have my YouTube channels that I like to watch while I am home alone and then I have my YouTube channels that I like to watch with him and they're like totally different styles of channels and so it's just fun. I would definitely say a majority of the time that I'm watching anything on the TV it's mostly YouTube and then there are a few shows that I've been watching for years that I like to keep watching so hopefully those come back soon as well. There's only I think one or two that I watch that aren't YouTube shows. So anyways, I'm finally cleaning off my makeup vanity, which is fantastic. I haven't done this in a while, but this makes me feel like I'm starting to get myself back. All right, I'm a little out of breath now, but I did a decent amount of cleaning, especially
especially compared to how much I have been doing recently. Um, I know. In the middle of cleaning the litter box, the orange cat peed on one of my rugs. So I had to put that in the dryer, so that was interesting. She usually only does that when the litter boxes need to be cleaned, but maybe she just wasn't patient enough for me to clean them because that's what I was doing. I do need to go through and completely like revamp them soon. I usually do that at the beginning of the month, but I've gotten a little bit off. I'm in the middle of the month right now. So maybe in a couple weeks I'll do that or maybe sooner. We'll see. Depends on how she likes it. Whew. I'm still out of breath. There's plenty of things I could still do around the house, but at least I got a lot of the things done that have been like really nagging at me that I wanted to get done for the last few days. And there's plenty of time because it's about springtime and springtime's about spring cleaning. And so I have plenty of time to get everything else done. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd love to see you. If you're interested in the cleaning videos, I will pop some more cleaning videos up here. And if you want to stick around but you're not interested in cleaning videos, there will be two additionals at the end of this video. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.